Okay, we're going to look at a subtraction problem using multi digits. As you can see, we have 101,660 minus 91,680. I like to ask a series of questions. First of all, I'll look at the ones place. Can I subtract 0 minus 0? Yes. Can I subtract 6 minus 8? No. So what I need to do is borrow from the larger unit, which is in the hundreds. I take 100 from here and regroup the number 6 in the tens place and make this number 6. So 16, because what I'm doing is adding 100 to the tens place, which would make this 6, 16. And I uh, borrow from the hundreds, so now this is becoming 5. So I go back to my questions. What is 6? Can I subtract 16 minus 8? Yes. Can I subtract 5 minus 6? No. So, like I did in the tens place, I need to borrow from the thousands to regroup the number in the hundreds. So, what I need to do is take a thousand from here and move that to the hundreds, and this is now going to become 15. So, I ask the question, can I subtract 15 minus 6? Yes, I can. Can I subtract 0 minus 1? No. I need to borrow from the 10,000, but I don't have any. So, what I need to do is borrow from the hundred thousands. So this is going to become 0. I'm going to move this changes to a 10 because I'm taking 10 from 10, a base 10 from the 100,000s and regrouping the 10,000 to 10 now. So now I go back to my thousands and I say, can I subtract 0 minus 1? No. So what I'm going to do is borrow from the 10,000s and make this a 10. And this will now become 9. So I ask a series of questions. Can I subtract 10 minus 1? Yes. Can I subtract 9 minus 9? Yes. And I don't have any uh, 100,000, so it's just 0. So I just go back and just subtract now. 0 minus 0 is 0. 16 minus 8 is 8. 15 minus 6 is 9. Put my comma here. 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. So here is my answer. Not done yet though. I need to check my work. So what I'm going to do is just move over here to the side. And I'm just going to use these numbers here to check my answer. I'm going to add that up. 91,680 plus 9,980. Simply add that up. And I want to make sure I have this number here. Just write a little clearer for you. 660. So 0 plus 0 is 0, 8 plus 8 is 16, so far so good, uh, carry a 1 here, 6 plus 9 is 15 plus 1, 16, looking good, so carry a 1 here, so I have 1 plus 9 is 10, plus a 1 is 11, looking good, carry my 1 here, so 1 plus 9 is 10, so as you can see, my answer is correct. So my answer is 9,980. All right, so here we are with another subtraction problem where we have to go all the way across all these zeros and we'll eventually have to borrow just from a single number. My problem says 1 million minus 592,000. So I'm going to ask myself a series of questions just like Mr. Holmes asked himself earlier. Can I take 0 minus 0? Yes, I can. In my tens place, 0 minus 0, can I do that? Yes, I can. My hundreds place, 0 minus 0, can I do that? Yes, I can. In my thousands place, 0 minus 2. I can't take 2 away from 0, so I'm going to have to move over to my next place value position. I'm in my ten thousands, but I have a 0 there, so I have nothing to take from there. So I need to move over to my next place value position, my hundred thousands. I have a 0 there, so I don't have anything to take from it. So I have to go over one more place value position to my millions. So I'm going to take one from the millions, and that's going to become a zero, and I'm going to give that ten, the ten hundred thousands from the millions, over to the hundred thousands place. So now let me ask myself those questions again. I was in my thousands place. Can I take zero minus two? I can't do that yet. Let me go over to my ten thousands place. Can I do zero minus nine? Not yet. Let me go over to my hundred thousands place. I can borrow from this 10, so I'm going to take one away, 100,000 away, it's going to become a 9. And now I'm going to give that extra 10 over to the 10,000s place. So now I have 10 10,000s. 
Let me start over with my questions again. I'm in my thousands place. Can I do zero minus two? I can't do that yet. So let me move over to my ten thousands place. Can I take from my ten? Yes, I can. So I take a ten away from there, and now I have nine, and I give that extra ten over here to my thousands place. So now that regroups to a ten. Let me ask again, can I do ten minus two? Now I can. Move over to my ten thousands place. Can I do my nine minus nine? Yes, I can. Can I do in the hundred thousands place nine minus five? Yes, I can. And now this is just a zero, so I don't have to worry about that. Now I just go through and I just do my subtraction. My ones place, zero minus zero is zero. My tens place, zero minus zero is zero again. My hundreds place, zero minus zero is zero. Let me put my comma down. Now I'm in my thousands place, 10 minus two. 10 minus two is eight. My ten thousands place, nine minus nine is zero. And my hundred thousands place, nine minus five is four. And since I have a zero there, I don't have to worry about bringing it down. So I think this is my answer, but I'm not sure, so I wanna make sure that I check. So I'm gonna scoot over here, and I'm gonna write my check here to make sure that I got the answer right. I'm gonna take my answer, 408,000, and I'm gonna add it to 592,000. And if I did it right, I'll get my original number, which was one million. So I'm gonna put 408,000 plus 592,000. And now let me just simply add it up and see if I get to my one million. In my ones place, zero plus zero, make sure we're adding this time. Zero plus zero is zero. My tens place, zero plus zero is zero. My hundreds place, zero plus zero is zero. Put my comma. Eight plus two is 10. So let me put my zero from my ones place down and my one from my tens place over there in the ten thousands. One plus zero is zero and one plus nine is 10. So same thing, I put my, ten, my zero down and my one up top. And I put my plus sign, one plus four is five and five plus five is 10. And let me put my comma in the right place. So does this number match up with that? Well, this is one million and it matches up to that one million there.